Good day, poker peeps. My name is Sky with Smart Poker Study. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom pop-up for your KISS HUD so that you can use it to exploit all of your opponent's pre-flop tendencies. Let's roll. All right, so let's get to creating the all-in-one pre-flop pop-up. You can see what it looks like right here. We have four different sections, 14 stats total as a, to uh, as a total percentage and then by position as well. The first thing you're going to do is create a positional pop-up. So positional pop-ups right here. New group. And then let's just give it a name. Let's just call it pre-flop for now. And you're going to start adding statistics one at a time. So hit the add stat button and just start by typing in a few key letters or a full word from the stat. So as you can see, the first one is VPIP right here. We have the percentage and then the makeup behind that percentage. I'm not a big fan of seeing that. So I de-click or unclick, unselect display percentages makeup. So all I see are percentages right there. I like that a lot more. So let's go back to adding stats once again. And then we'll simply go down the list, pre-flop raise. Hit OK once you're good with the name, raise first in. Raise first. Actually, I prefer RFI. Raise with previous limpers comes next. I prefer ISO. What do we got here? Two bet, then fold to pre flop three bet after raise right here. Two bet fold. Call pre flop two bet. 2 bet, call preflop 2 bet. You can see simply we're finding the line or finding the, uh, the stat, uh, double clicking it and it gets entered in. As we can see, it's slowly, whoops, slowly building out right here. Next is 3 bet. And then fold to steal, 3 bet steal. So just put the word steal in. Uh, fold to steal, okay. Three bet steal, okay. Attempt to steal. Fold to PF three bet after steal. Nice, so we've got all except our limp stats in now. Uh, what I like to do, three of them here, just preflop limp as a total. Limp fold. And then limp call. Cool. We have all of our stats in here. Now you can see how I, I have it separated into sections, VPIP and PFR. Uh, what you're going to do is highlight PFR and add horizontal line. Puts it directly afterwards now. After three bet preflop, add a horizontal line. After steal, then fold, add a horizontal line. Bam, we have it separated into all of its parts. Uh, Let's see. Oh, add horizontal lines. Hit convert to free form now. This is going to let you change things a little bit more. But once you remove it from the positional pop-up, it's going to move it into the pop-up group. And you can't go back again. So if you want to make it edit, you'll have to change it again or edit it within the pop-up groups. So you can see here's our new pre-flop uh, one that we're doing. Change column colors. Now for me, uh, I like to see the blinds as a different color. So we can go through. I'm hitting the control key as I select each of these in turn. But now we've selected them all. Let's change the background. Instead of being a black, let's go with a gray background. But then we have to turn the transparency off. So now it's like that. And you see all these big gaps and lines and stuff. I'm a fan of zero padding. So I do zero padding. And I don't like the green background. I prefer a black background myself. And then bam, there's the HUD, nice and simple right there. You're gonna hit apply and that's gonna save this as a pop-up. Uh, so the, the pre-flop pop-up will be in. This is the KISS HUD on this table. So currently right now, if I click on VPIP, my current pre-flop pop-up uh, comes up here with color ranges assigned to it. If I click on PFR, uh, it pops up as well because it's kind of like a default one. But what you'll wanna do next is, uh, let's see, oh, at, you can color code stats if you want. So if you want all the fold to steel to be the same color, select them all and then do whatever kind of color range that you want. But the next step is to assign a stat to the HUD itself. So go to the table groups. Let's go to PFR. 
right here, scroll down. It's currently at the preflop all in one, but let's set it to our new preflop pop-up. Hit apply. And then once this refreshes, we can see what that looks like. So VPIP is the old one that I had color coding put in, but then PFR now is the new one that I just now demonstrated to make. So like within five minutes, I showed you how to make this. You can do it for yourself and start utilizing this pop-up to exploit your opponents tonight. So thank you very much for watching the video. I really do appreciate your eyeballs on this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ding that bell to receive notifications for every new YouTube video that hits the YouTube airwaves. And I'll catch you in the next one.